students on the first day, pretend the identity of the parties was reversed. So pretend this, if you're a Democrat, pretend this is a Democratic president who acted this way. If you're a Republican, you know, ask yourself how you'd feel if it were a Democratic president, and would you come to the same conclusion? I thought what the House managers did over the last couple of days was incredibly compelling. You know, it, impeachment doesn't require a crime, although I do think they may have shown a crime was committed. It requires putting the American people's interests behind your own personal interests. That's what, you know, Vice President Pence said was a high crime misdemeanor when he was in Congress in 2008. And I thought that the members of Congress did that, the House uh, representatives today did that so well. You know, Neil, several Republicans have already said they're not convinced of the connection between the rampage and the former president's actions and words. Is, is there a weakness at all that you see in the House manager's case here? Did they fail to successfully connect all the dots? I don't think so. I think for two reasons. One is the, the House managers focus on what happened during and after the attack. I mean, Representative Raskin today said, you know, Trump's lawyers, you got to answer five questions. And the first three were like, why did Trump not do anything while the attack was happening? And why afterwards, this is you know a later point, why afterwards you go and praise these people and say, this is the kind of thing that happens when an election is stolen and so on. So that's point one. Point two is the Democrats made, I think, a very strong but for causation 